I, 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 it's like having you myself, and I want to do this one, do this one, do this one, but um, do Lupe, the, the cosmetic lady. Okay, this is uh, my first real monologue, and, it was, and she's the world's oldest beauty expert. <laughs> and she would tell everybody um, how to rejuvenate their face, and somewhere in the middle she would say, um, now this evening, <laughs> we'll take any good lubricant to uh, <coughs> Pons 4-in-1, Tassi Quick Lift, or as in my own case, Johnson's Glow Coat. <laughs> and using only the very soft pads of the fingertips, <laughs> we'll tread thusly. Lines, lines, go away. <laughs> go and visit Doris Day. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so she'd go on and tell you how to fix your face, and then she'd sneeze, and it would all fall down again. <laughs> <laughs> Do the one. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. You have to remember, these are kind of old monologues, so. Uh. Melissa was, you know, references yeah. are probably strange. Not I never to me. About that. <laughs> and God knows you and I don't All remember right. anything before the Doughboys. Let me ask you, um, the one that I brought, when Edgar and I saw you, we thought you were so brilliant that time, we brought Roger Smith and Ann Margaret and Alan Carr to see you. Uh -huh. At that terrible club where you were performing, where all the cheaters came over from Jersey. Uh -huh. You know, and a lot of people would be laughing behind menus. <laughs> and uh, you were doing the lady that, uh, Lula. The funeral lady, the right. The funeral lady who went to a friend's funeral. Right, well, she's, I used to call her the party lady because wherever she'd go, she'd make it into a party. <laughs> and so I have to stand up to do this, though. And uh, I was trying to practice this in my dressing room because she laughed so big, you know, and I scared my dog so bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is, I'm just going to do a little tiny piece yes, of it, which yes. you really like. And um, it's sort of like this, I hope. I, let's see, first of all, this is Fred's funeral and the widow is Betty Lou. So it goes, um, let's see. Um, Guess who died? <laughs> Where is the widow? Where Betty Lou? <laughs> Betty Lou, your cheeks are so salty. <laughs> and whatever possessed you to wear that black ensemble with that heavy veil, you're depressing everyone. <laughs> Where is Fred's secretary? Where is she? Oh, Betty, I didn't know she was that far along. <laughs> You know, Betty, it's a pity you couldn't have had Fred's children. Everybody else did. <laughs> Where is Fred? Where is he? Whoop! Betty, is that Fred? <laughs> well, I'd have never recognized him. He looks terrible. <laughs> he needs some blush on. And where's that wrist corsage I sent? <laughs> now, Betty, Betty Lou, <laughs> Betty, I'm not going to tell you again. If you don't stop this crying, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> She's, she's a down in the dumps. I know how to cheer her up. Betty, watch this. <laughs> how you feeling, Fred? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. I stopped that a little short, and I thought, well, oh. I might as well quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> but, the, you know, that night you saw me, the first time you saw me, you wrote me a note, because the next line after that is, I'm, after I'm laughing, I say, Lula says, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hand me a glass of water, this will be better. Make her turn around. Betty Lou, I want you to see this. How are you feeling, Fred? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, you wrote, so, <laughs> so you wrote me a note, which I still have framed, you know. I was going to bring it on, but it's sort of... It's when hard I, to read because it's I, written in pencil on an envelope. I, when I said the funny, yeah, you said it's a funny line. You know, it was real great. A funny line? I said the whole piece. No, That's you a, said a, a glass of water. Give me a glass of water. The funniest line I ever heard. Yeah. Oh God, we just oh we used to stand and wait for her to come down. I worked downstairs and she worked upstairs. Don't say that. I used to stand at the back door. You know, when we, I would come down the back stairs and stand at that door, that state, that the stage door, and, and listen to you while and, you were on stage. And I would go upstairs and watch you. She, you would, <laughs> and then we lost contact and then the next thing that happened is I was playing Las Vegas and you were on your way out to do laughing and you picked and I came in to see you. it was my first time in Vegas and your first time coming mm -hmm. out to do a major show you had done a little summer show and you were so nervous and I knew that if they just get a chance to see you you're gonna go through the roof and it's true and what made now who hit her hardest on, on laughing oh Ernestine. Ernestine yeah 
even harder than... Um, well, Edith was not till the next year, oh, so... Oh, see, let's see. Right. So, do earnestly, do, do. It's like, it's right. like you have your own friend, do, do a little I know, bit, I do feel, a little bit. I haven't done some of these things in so long, it's sort of fun to do them. Uh, so I'll just do a little piece of earnesty. I'll do her old original monologue, which was with Mr. Vidal. Am I talking too fast? No. <laughs> I got, I'm so, I'm kind of like excited, but... <laughs> Okay, um, one ringy dingy. <laughs> Two ringy, oh, uh, gracious hello. <laughs> H have I reached the party to whom I am speaking, Mr. Beetle? Mr. Beetle, this is Miss Tomlin at the telephone company. Uh, you owe us a balance of $23.64. When may we expect payment? When what freezes over? <laughs> no, Miss, Mr. Beetle, you are not dealing with just anyone's fool. I am a high school graduate. <laughs> M Mr. Beetle, I don't see why you're kicking up such a ruckus. According to our files, your present bank balance plus stock, securities, and other holdings amounts to exactly three... P pardon me? P privileged information. <laughs> oh, that's so cute! <laughs> No, Mr. Beadle, you're, you're, you're dealing with a telephone company. We are not subject to city, state, or federal regulations. We are omnipotent. <laughs> omnipotent. That's potent with an omni in front of it. Can, can we come back and at least do... All right, all right. I, I hate to stop. These are annoying. So please watch this so we can return immediately.